Welcome back to Therani, I'm Joe B. If you click this video, then you are curious to determine the difference between the lumbopelvic rhythm and the pelvifemoral rhythm joint mechanics. Let's discuss. The lumbopelvic rhythm is a coordinated activity of lumbar flexion and anterior tilting of the pelvis in the sagittal plane during trunk flexion, while the opposite sequence of mechanics occurs with trunk extension. During trunk flexion, when a person tries to touch the toes, lumbar flexion occurs first, where each lumbar superior and inferior facets move inferiorly and posteriorly. This results to the spinous and transverse processes of the vertebrae to move backwards. Once available maximum lumbar flexion motion is reached, the pelvis tilts anteriorly at the hips. Coming back to the erect posture results to posterior pelvic tilt first, followed by lumbar extension, where each lumbar superior and inferior facets move superiorly and anteriorly. This results to the spinous and transverse processes moving forwards. The pelvifemoral rhythm is a coordinated activity of pelvic anterior tilting and hip flexion during standing toe touch while the opposite sequence of mechanics occurs with a return to standing position. The main difference of this rhythm is that it highlights the sequence of movement at the pelvis and hip instead of the lumbar spine and the pelvis. During trunk flexion, when a person tries to touch the toes, the pelvis tilts anteriorly, while the hip flexes resulting to a femoral head posterior glide. During trunk extension, when a person comes back to standing, the hip extends resulting to a femoral head anterior glide. Once maximum available range is reached, then the pelvis tilts posteriorly. But the pelvifemoral rhythm can also occur during hip abduction as it increases the range through which the foot can be moved in space by approximately 30 to 46% more. During right hip abduction, there is a superior femoral head roll but an inferior femoral head glide. As it reaches its maximum allowable range of abduction, then the right pelvis starts to tilt laterally or hike. As the maximum allowable hike is reached, then the lumbar spine laterally flexes to the right. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.